Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we are going to do your bonus mid-April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So I got a very interesting song. You guys know when I meditate over you guys' energy, typically the universe will give me songs because it will help incorporate the message that I'm meant to give you guys today. I heard a song, but not the typical version, right? I heard that, I don't know if it's, Yes, I'm Bill. I don't know how it goes or what the title of the song is, but it's a song off of Schoolhouse Rock, right? <laughs> Which is very interesting. So in the song, he says, yes, I am Bill. Yes, I'm a, I am only a Bill and I am sitting here on Capitol Hill. And that's the part that I heard and it, it cut off right there. So first off, just starting off, some of you guys can be dealing with someone whose name is Bill William or last name is Williams, okay? Somebody's nickname could be Will as well. But I'm, I'm getting... Very strongly because immediately after I heard that, I heard Bills, Bills, Bills by Destiny Child. So some of you guys could be in a relationship or dealing with someone that makes you happy, but they're not very money savvy. They're not good with money at all. Either they're not good with money or they feel like you're not good with money. Because you have, I'm getting with the song, yes, I am Bill, yes, I am only a Bill. That's the first, that's the intro of the song. Like this person is saying with that part that goes, yes, I am only a Bill. Like this person may downplay debt. This person may downplay their role in paying for bills because they're just looking at it like okay it's a bill it'll get taken care of when it gets taken care of and if i know capricorns like i know no capricorns that ain't gonna fly capricorns are big on their finances capricorns are big on their stability and anything that threatens it is going to be an issue so i feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who is not very um they're not very literate they're not very money literate you know or they don't take responsibility seriously and i feel like this is causing an issue for you and henceforth why we heard the destiny child song bills 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 because it's like you're saying yes it's only a bill but now it's leading to this bill and this bill and this bill and things are not being taken care of now with that song from schoolhouse rock it wasn't like um it's not ta it's talking about like congress and you know actual bills and law and things like that but i'm hearing it like in a different sense of which Somebody's saying, don't just dismiss this because, yes, you can't say it's, this is only a bill. No, this is our livelihood. Our water's getting cut off. Lights getting cut off. We're getting, you know, pink slips and red flags and all types of stuff. We need to take care of this. And I feel like it could be causing an issue in some of you guys' relationships. Now, if you are single, the issue could be that you're trying to get your finances together before you get into a relationship. Also, if there's a love interest, this person may want to come towards you. But they're trying to get their finances together as well. Okay, you had strong Leo. You also had a fellow Capricorn, or that could be your energy. Libra, also Virgo and Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Okay, so let's see what we get for you guys today. I'll leave that link in the description box below so you can listen to that song or watch that little snippet there if you would like to. I don't even think they still have Schoolhouse Rock, right? That was like when I was a child. I'm 38. Well, I'll be 38 in May, so I don't know if they still even have uh, Schoolhouse Rock. I don't watch TV, so I don't know. But I'll leave the link if I can find it here on YouTube. I'm sure it's here. So we're going to change the card at the top and bottom of the deck. We would do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. But once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have absolutely the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things you do not have clarity about. So for some of y'all, you may be unaware that this person is not paying bills. Um, This person, I feel like... For, especially for the females, this person may be like that if you're dealing with a male specifically, because this is a lot of female energy here. This person may be like this because the female figure in their life when they were growing up took care of all the responsibilities with stuff. Like they may have been raised in a single parent home where the female, you know, predominantly did everything. Or they could have had a female figure like an ex prior to you take care of all the finances. And this is why this person is not very privy or savvy to it. This is Piscean energy, but if you notice here, you have a crab and it's coming to the surface. Um, some of you guys, this person could have cancer in their chart. You have cancer in your chart. Or during cancer season, something may come to a head when it when it's dealing with um, finances. Also, something may have already came to a head in Pisces season. You guys know that is um, hmm, February, March. I'm just getting a vibe there for some of you guys. There's definitely energy of Someone not being very happy. If you look at the woman's face in the moon, it's kind of like she's either contemplating or she's upset with a situation. She's not very happy with the way something is um, going. 
And that's a major arcana, so that's a definite energy. So I do feel like this is on a lot of you all's mind. Also, the moon is subconscious, so some of you guys can be keeping these feelings to yourself. But I feel like it's going to be coming to the surface, you know. And it could be in an emotional outpour when you when you speak on it, okay. So we're going to go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana, which is the devil card. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and we'll get clarifiers for both, okay. So let's part the deck. Eight of Wands. That's why I said this. <laughs> Some of you guys could light their ass up, okay? Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. And I'm going to say again, I feel like you love this person a lot because this is giving me like Cupid's arrow. But I feel like you are going to like, you're going to read this person they write. You're going to tell them about themselves because it seems like they're not taking it seriously. Something could be behind like eight payments also. Also, I did mention Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with an August Leo. Look at his face. Like this person has a goal in mind. Somebody's definitely gonna address the situation, is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana. And I said this just a few minutes ago. Some of you all, there could be a female figure who did all the planning, all the um organization when it came to finances. Definitely could be involved with a cancer by Scorpio, strong cancer. Yeah, and I feel like this is gonna be a little devastating or heartbreaking. I feel like some of you guys are finding out that this person has not been paying bills. Because remember what I said, I heard the songs, bills, bills, bills. Possibly over the last three months, there was bills that was unattended to. And now you see how they're sitting very properly on the surface here. Like they let it get to the point where it's like, there could be shut off notices and things like that. Again, if you're single, somebody's trying to take care of some debts one at a time. So that they can be more balanced. Because their emotions. Because cups is emotions and feelings. Emotionally they could feel like I can't be with someone until my finances are stable. Okay. Because a queen is always going to be with a consort. They will always have a spouse, a long term companion. So this is someone who is very much oriented to being in a relationship. But right, they're focused on something else. You see how she's looking down. They're focused on something else right now. And it's right in front of her. The lily pads are in front of her, not behind her. If it was behind her, that would mean that it, this is in the past. It's taken care of. This is something that someone is focusing on right now. Okay? Yeah. Some hang-ups. There's some hang-ups there. Some things that are not taken care of. You got the hangman. Things are hanging in limbo. I'm telling you. Piscean energy. A lot of water energy here. You got a lot of um, cancer Pisces stuff here. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Oh, yeah. And a lot of you guys could definitely be married to this person with the justice card. Also, you could be dealing with a Libra here. I'm going to say again, somebody is not paying bills. You see how the bill is at her feet and she's blindfolded. Like some of you guys may have felt like this person had everything taken care of because you see how the scales are balanced. This person will be like, don't worry about it. I'm taking care of it. They're not. It's like they're letting bills fall to the wayside and they're not taking care of things. Okay, so I'm also hearing that you're going to have to make a head over heart decision about this and you're going to have to, for some of y'all, especially if you are a female dealing with a male, you may be trying to allow this person to be a man because you know this is going to hurt this person's ego if you try to take over. But something just isn't right here. It's like this person is not taking care of, you know, because why is the scroll here? Again, that could be a notice, a bill that is, this person may even be hiding. Ooh, for some of you guys, this person could be even be hiding bills because if you notice, she's blindfolded so she doesn't see that. For some of y'all, this person is hiding because they thought that they were going to be able to catch up with the bills. And I'm going to say again, if you are single, this is what this person is working on right now. They're trying to release debt. They're trying to clear debt. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana again, which is the devil. And I almost said the death cards for some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, strong Scorpio because the, the, um, the death card is the major arcana for Scorpio. Okay. So we are looking for the devil for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Individuals. Yeah, this is something that's been going on for a while. Because look how far we are in the deck. And we already don't. And we don't have your major arcana. This person could be emotionally immature with the page of cups here. And I'll stop there. And I, you know, it wasn't intentional. So it's definitely giving me the vibe that for some of y'all, this person could be very emotionally immature. And this is why they don't know how to balance their finances. This has been going on for a while because look at it. You're all, all the way at the end of the deck, okay? So the card you have in front of is the Six of Wands. Again, a Leo card, I'm telling you. Um, Six of Wands is victory, success, attainment, achievement. On the outside, it looks like this person has things taken care of. But I feel like there's some, this is a bit of an illusion. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys are doing Leo. You got Leo again right here with the Sun card. And then you have Six of Wands as Leo. Um, let's see what's behind here. Look. 
Five of Wands, there could be some debt collections, okay? Look at this. Somebody who has to pay something out, I'm telling you. Somebody is like, I'm just getting debt collections here, okay? Or somebody needs to pay some bills. And it could cause a tug of war with that Five of Wands that we just seen there. So with the Six of Wands, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you know, she's in like a la-la land. She feels as though everything is taken care of emotionally. That's why I said in the beginning, emotionally, a lot of you all are happy in this situation. Because it seems like this person is doing everything that they're supposed to do, okay? You may be giving this person praise because this is a card of praise, accolades, being celebrated, worship, putting on, put on a pedestal. But if you notice, their backs are towards each other. So again, she doesn't see that things are not how they appear. Things are not how they appear in this situation. Again, if you are single, somebody is coming in. The universe is orchestrating somebody to come in, but it looks like right now they they have so they have a lot on their plate. There's a lot that they need to organize before they get to some type of victory. Because I feel like for a lot of y'all, you can feel because she's sitting in water, waters, the emotions and feelings. A lot of y'all can feel that somebody's coming in or like something is shifting, especially in your love life. You can feel it. But this person is working on their abundance. Bottom of the deck, you have a fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. I'm going to say, I'm seeing this two ways. Some of you all could be a bit foolish. Look at her. She's very much in La La Land. She's not paying attention to what's going on because she, she emotionally, she's happy. But that's because she doesn't know something's going on with the fool card. I'm hearing oblivious. And that's not calling you all ignorant. But I feel like you may be oblivious to the fact that this person is not taking care of business. This person just wants the free ball. <laughs> or just kind of free fall literally because if you look at it he's getting ready to walk, walk off this cliff there's nothing there to catch him and you see how this dog is like barking at him like trying to warn him dogs and tarot talks about companionship and loyalty so this is definitely related to a companion you have aries and aquarius energy here and i feel like they're not telling you anything i'm gonna be honest with you because you have that zero there they're not telling you zero nothing they're not telling you shit and it's, it's interesting because when I was saying with the song, it's yes, I am Bill, yes, I am only a Bill, and I'm sitting on Capitol Hill. And no, this is not Capitol Hill, but it's like they're on top of some hill or mountain. Like they, be, they may be sitting on a mountain of debt and you don't know about it. Also, someone could live in D.C., Washington, D.C., I'm hearing as well. Let's go ahead and park the deck. Eight of Cups, walking away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Now you have the eight. And you have the nine here, so that's a down, like something that's backsliding. That's what I'm saying. You all can be finding something out. Because you do have the moon right here. Again, moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. The moon is looking right at this person. So your intuition could be telling you that it's something that you're missing. I want you also to notice he's walking through one, two, three of these cups. And right at the bottom of her, there's three cups. But they're like in harmony. Right here, there's like some type of break. And remember in the very beginning, you had that Piscean energy. I feel like in Pisces season... Some of you guys realize that this person did not have control and that you'd have to take control over matters. You may even possibly have thought about moving on in a different direction away from this individual because they put so much debt. I'm telling you, it's something with debt here. And if someone is single, I'm going to say because I'm getting single and people in relationships, it just looks like you may have walked away from a situation in the past that put you in debt. And now you're ready to start new with someone who is on the same vibe as you, an abundant vibe. Just seeing the moon again. Definitely some Piscean. Look at that. I can't make this up. A lot of you guys, it is definitely involving a Leo. Okay? The strength card. Major Arcana, so there's a definite energy. Um, for some of you, I'm going to say again, it's an energy of not wanting to... Um, I'm getting two things from this. Not wanting to take away this person's manhood because you see how she's taming the beast. You can't tame a damn lion. A lion is the king of the jungle. Okay? But he's allowing himself to be tamed. So a lot of you all don't want to feel like this person is, um, you know, like you're suppressing this person's nature or making this person feel small. And then for others, I'm going to say again, there was a female figure in their life that did everything, coddled them. And so this is why they don't know how to balance things because they, they never did it. They may have been very amazing at going out and making the money, but distributing it and organizing it and making sure things got paid appropriately. I don't think so. I'm not getting it female figure i feel like this female figure was an enabler that's what i'm getting this for your person may have been enabled now even if it is not a male but you do have a lot of male here you know even if it wasn't a male if it's a female again i'm going to say somebody may have been enabling this person and they don't know how to maybe growing up they didn't see their mother figure um very well off financially and, and wasn't balanced when it came to finances okay i'm telling you a lot you guys are dealing with a leo you have the sun card reverse okay 
Remember in the beginning we had the moon. The opposite of the sun is the moon. So there's definitely things that are hidden here. If you're not dealing with a Leo, I would be very surprised. Ooh, this person could have strong Leo in their chart. And if they don't, again, I'm going to say they're hiding something. When the sun comes up, it shines a light that illuminates for you to see everything and all. In reverse, it's like this is the sun going down, which would be the moon. They're hiding something. Like this person, and, and I'm, I'm going to say this again. Some of you all are, are oblivious to it. Again, that's not calling you dumb, but you're oblivious to it. Because this person makes you happy emotionally, but... They're not very successful because this is success with the Six of Wands. They're not very successful with finances. Let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Cups. Okay. Yep, I told you this person makes you happy. Nine of Cups, Prince Charming. Prince or Princess Charming coming in sweeping you off your feet. But they're not very strong when it comes to finances. Look at this. Finances in reverse. I'm telling you. This person, balancing finances is not their strong suit. Okay. It's just not. The opposite of strength is weakness. You got strength to reverse. So this person, that's not their strong suit. They could be a charming person. This is very charming. And that's exactly why she's in this position. Because she's like, everything is good. Because she's not seeing any of those notices. I'm going to say again, I feel like it's being hidden from you. There's some bills that are being hidden from you. There are some debts. Especially, I'm going to tell you, if you're in a newer relationship, this person may have some debts and, and loans and things like that that they have to take care of that they have not told you about. I'm really getting that. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Sword up, yes, sword down. No, that sword is down. Something in Swords communication and mental. This person isn't telling you something. Any king and queen reverse is negative because this person is not sitting in their power. They have been dethroned. They have been stripped of their title. They feel small, you know, because kings and queens hold power, hierarchy, nobility, notoriety, respect. They're well revered. In reverse, this person doesn't even respect their own decisions, to be quite honest with you. Let's get a clarify for the Six of Wands for Capricorn. Ooh, that flew out. I'm telling you, this person is lying to you. They're not telling you something, okay? So you have the Six of Wands being clarified by the damn moon yet again. We started off in this deck with the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. He's riding right in the direction to the damn moon, okay? This person's not telling you something. They're making it like they have everything taken care of. They do not. They do not. They do not. Let's see what's up under this deck here. Star card. They do not. Okay. Star card is wish fulfillment and healing. Your wishes, your desires being taken care of. That's major. Our console is definite. Also resonates with Aquarius. You got it reverse. So the type of person you wish that this person would do right financially. You wish that this person would um be present. They would. They would be. I'm here well versed. I'm not feeling like necessarily that's the word, but I'm, I'm feeling like you're wishing this person was more finance articulate. They were more articulate financially. They're not. And I'm, I'm going to say again, something is coming to the surface or it did come in sur to the surface already in Pisces season because you had that lobster coming to the surface. So something came to the surface in regards to the situation. And I know that because you had a major arcana and that came right behind this. And you had two major arcanas back to back. That's a definite. This person is not financially abundant. And whether they're not good with finances, whether you're married, single, just start dating. If you just start dating, I feel like what you're finding out, because the moon, I feel like you're finding out that this person is not as well off as they say that they are. They're very charming, may possibly even take you out all the time. For all you know, they could be racking up credit cards, to be honest with you. Uh, racking up credit cards just to woo you, because this is someone who's coming in to woo you. But this person is like literally in fucking debt. Okay, I'm just telling you. Yep, because I'm seeing sharks and I just heard loan, loan sharks. This person may have some loans and debts out. I'm trying to keep faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loan sharks, because I'm just seeing you see how the devil, you know how they tell you, like, don't take out them damn loans, it's the devil. And then he has a pinnacle right here in the middle. Now you're attached and bound to this contract. Yeah, this person could have some loans and things like that. And they they put themselves over the end, the edge with it. Or again, you could flip it and put it as to where this could be your energy. Because it is a general reading. Okay? So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.